Hello Pisces friends, I'm Annie Botticelli and welcome to my Pisces November 2023 Astrology Horoscope Forecast. This is a 7-minute Astrology Highlight Special and we're going to talk about important things to know about the general transits as they tie back to very special things specifically for Pisces placements. This is for you if Pisces is your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign, or any other Pisces placement you're listening for. What I'm going to talk about here is part of your astrological picture. And if you're a very late degree Pisces friend, so birthdays like March 15th through the rest of the sign, or 23 degree Pisces placements through the rest of the sign, I suggest you additionally listen to my Aries report as you very late degree friends will benefit from both readings. So I try to alternate months where one month I do the pretty slideshow and then the next month I do the chart so that I keep everybody happy. So if you are on the podcast version and you want to see the visuals, come on over to YouTube. Look for my Pisces November 2023. You can see what's going on here. Okay, so we're going to get down and dirty with the chart here a little bit and hit some highlights. Set the tone for what we're about to talk about. Let's think about why is it that so many people are interested in astrology? Well, It's because it can be helpful in so many ways in our lives. And all cultures that have written language all use astrology. There are proofs that astrology was woven into societies back from the beginning of of time. So, you know, it's not new. It is old. Um, How we apply it may have been um, evolving over time, but we can look at the starry template And we can see important things for our lives to try to go with the astrological rhythms. And that's the point. Okay, so we've got a very busy sky in November. Lots of mathematical connections of planets getting together when they're connected by certain mathematical degrees. Things happen for better or worse. Okay, so there's lots of activity this month. And the next thing to know is that we are still at the tail end of the eclipse season. We had two eclipses in October. And eclipse time happens twice a year. And at this time, major news, major trajectory shifts, major hellos, major goodbyes, you know, shocking, exciting, terrible, the best and worst of everything. These eclipse energies tend to bring that. So from August into December, we're basically in eclipse. The heat of eclipse season is more like October. But the four to six weeks in each direction before, which we're still in now, news can be coming in from that Taurus eclipse and that Libra eclipse that we had in October. So just be on the lookout. If you have rattling news, the story is going to likely continue to evolve. If you didn't get your news yet, it may still be coming. Right. So one of the first things that we notice when we look at the chart is look at all of this water at this time. We've got all this water, all this water, all this water. This is going to move quickly, so we'll ignore that, but all this water. So many of the planets are speaking your language as a water sign, and those planets are creating nice angles for you. So every planet that's making a trine, which is the most favorable in all of astrology for you, gives you wonderful possibilities. So you've got all of these Scorpio placements, the sun, Mars, Mercury, star goddess Ceres, all making beautiful trines. You've got star goddesses Vesta and Astraea, all making beautiful trines, bringing information, meeting in the world of emotion and sensation, okay, and connection. So it's a, it's a time where you definitely can connect, tune in, um, into spirit, tune in to your relationships, tune into yourself, and have a lot of quiet, precious time in connection with smooth, flowing, creative, prolific expression. Both the Libra sequence and the Scorpio sequence are continuing this theme of we joining into partnership this month. This theme was very strong in October as well. So you'll see that buddying up, connecting with others, finding a cord, solving problems. Other people are very key at this time, and that is all over the chart. Specifically, these Scorpio energies are bringing possibilities of partnership and merging of resources. They're also bringing connections into the spiritual, the mystical, and the divine. And they're highlighting your ninth house. Houses in astrology are fields of experience that we have as humans. And when you have a stellium of planets, which means a bunch, basically three or more, 
in a house, that means that house is super accentuated, okay? Meaning full of extra possibility. So your ninth house of higher learning, broader perspectives, expanded experiences, majestic viewpoints where you can look down at a situation from a different level that a problem was created. So I believe it was Einstein that said we can't solve problems with the same line of thinking as we created them. And this period of time for Pisces is very full of possibilities of resolving problems and seeing things in a different way that can actually really help you to ponder the unponderable and believe the unbelievable and to dream the undoable and to make it happen because you've got all of this depth of emotion um, in the house of expansion, connecting in with your sign at 120 degree angles. And so it's just very full of possibility. One of the big highlights of the month is November 13th, the new moon at 20 degrees of Scorpio, new beginnings in relationship, finances, and spiritual experiences. All Pisces can have goodies from this, but especially those of you between 15 and 25 degrees, the closer to 20 degrees, the more of a kiss you get from that moon, new moon, special trine energy. That's especially favoring birthdays around March 5th through March 15th. And the closer to around March 10th, the bigger kiss you get from that new moon. And the most important things to know is that October 7th through November 25th, we are free from personal planet retrogrades. A personal planet retrograde is when Mars, Venus, or Mercury appears to be going backwards in its orbit in the sky based on our perspective at Earth, which causes massive amounts of chaos, having to look inward and backward, being confused and not being able to plan well for the future, systems and appliances breaking down and such, and miscommunications. But October 7th through November 25th, we've got this golden period in between retrogrades and their shadow periods, where if you have to do holiday shopping, you'll be better off doing it in this period of time. Big moves, big decisions, big work changes, big purchases, commitments are all especially favored. So November is a month where everything is moving forward in a big way. And there's a lot of clarity around um, everything from the most minute to the grandest important decisions. Saturn in your sign from 2023 to 2026 is bringing opportunities to fine tune your discipline and your will to create everything from the ethers that you want into reality. It's most affecting February born at this time. AnnieHelpsYou.com to see more goodies that I have for you, blogs that I write to help you keep current with what's happening. You can get my free VIP community access and get my astrology write up that goes into all the sweet and salty dates and more important things to know. Um, so you can see that at AnnieHelpsYou.com and you can also learn astrology with me. So if you go to AnnieHelpsYou.com, you can sign up for my free email newsletter. You can access my secret star portal with exclusive content, and you can find my astrology education options, including becoming a professional astrologer. I hope you have a wonderful month and I'll see you next month. Bye.